I wanted to record a video on how to use Microsoft Forms as I've seen a few questions about it in one or two of the Facebook communities I'm in. So Inga, if you're watching, this one's for you. I use Microsoft Forms to gather all my post training feedback and sometimes I use it to survey people about which course they'd like me to create next. So let's have a look at what a form looks like. So if I open up my Microsoft Teams feedback form, because I do a lot of training, it's going to let me in. And I got here, by the way, by going into my Microsoft 365 portal and finding forms on the left hand side. I've added a form which has got an image, a title, some information, and then it's got my fields where the information is going to be gathered. So I've got um, an organization, first name, last name, and email address. I always add those fields. Unless you're using this internally in an organization where it will tell you who filled it in, you want to capture that information so you can respond to them. And then I ask some questions. We can have a rating. How did you rate the session? Did you meet the expectations? Yes or no? Will you recommend it? So there are lots of things that you can do and there are more options. So let me go back to the forms area and choose new form and show you how to build one from scratch. So first of all, this is where you're going to put your form title and your description. Please let me know what you think or whatever it might be. You can add a picture where it can go and search for a picture here. So let's put in here question and it's found some pictures with Creative Commons. So let's have a nice orange question mark. So now I've got my form header set up for me and I could add in here information, for example, about my privacy policy and the fact that I won't share your details. Then I get to add the questions. And here are the main choices, a multiple choice question. So I can say, what is your favor, favorite um, chocolate? No, cartoon character. So what's your favorite cartoon character? And um, I could say uh, Fred Flintstone or maybe it might be Barney Rubble. And if I add another option, I might say Dick Dastardly. I'm showing my age here because these are cartoon characters from my youth. I can choose that people can have multiple answers and I can make this a required question. I also have the option of making it a drop down or a subtitle or adding branching. So I'm going to add another one. This is going to be text. And it's going to be first name and then I'm going to add another one text last name and another one text which will be email address and what I'm going to do with this first one that I created is move it down so I can use the arrows to move it to position four and then I could say um, we could have a rating where it will say, uh, what is your opinion of chocolate? And we can have five stars or up to 10 stars or however many you want. And we can have numbers or stars. So we'll stick with stars, I think. And we'll add one more, which would be a date. So I could ask for date of birth if I needed to. I don't want that, so I'm just going to delete that question. So you can see that it's really easy to build your form. The last kind I want to show you under here is called a Likert. And this is where you have columns and statements. So this might be, uh, how much do you like alcohol? I'm not really thought a uh, statement one very much. Uh, statement to not at all and then you can name the options to however you like so let's go for whiskey and let's go here for red wine and white wine and gin 
and beer. And so which, I'm going to change the question is, which do you like best? You can see that I haven't really thought through my questions before designing my form, but I wanted to give you some examples of the kind of things that you could do. You can also add in a section which allows you to start a new section if you wanted to say, thanks for completing my form and so on and I can put a picture in. So that's it. The other things I can do then are to preview that form so I can see what it looks like. I can preview it on a computer or for mobile so I can see what it would look like. I can go to the theme and choose a different theme for it. So if I preview it now it's all orange which is one of my brand colours. Or I can use one of these themes or create my own. When it comes to sharing it I can share the form I need to make sure that I change this if it's going to be for anybody to anyone can respond and then I can copy that link and I can pop that link into a browser, go to the form and this brings me to the form where I can fill it in. So Shelley Fischel. And let's go for Fred Flintstone. Yeah, I think it's great. I like uh, whiskey very much. And I like beer, not at all. And then I'll go on to next and it's thanks. And I'm gonna submit that. So you can see that's it, it's been submitted. If I come back to the form now, I've got a response and I can view those results. So I can view the results independently, what each person said, or one of the other things I can do is open it in Excel. And when I do that, it will open the file as a CSV file. So let's just go and open that. And there it is. There is my, uh, no, it's not a CSV. I tell a lie, it's XLSX. There's my form and I can now see what people answered in that form. So I hope that's been helpful. That's how you can build your Microsoft Forms forms. They're really easy to do and you'll never look back.